Hi, this is Manos Brilakis, and this is case 138 for the manual of percutaneous coronary interventions. This is a case in which uh, the stent came back, way back into the aorta. The patient presented with unstable angina and was found to have a significant lesion in the proximal left anterior descending. The lesion was actually extending towards the mid LAD, a little distal to the takeoff of a sizable diagonal branch. We did intravascular ultrasound that demonstrated uh, extensive plaque starting in the mid LAD and then as we come back more towards the proximal LAD there is a large size branch, this is the origin of the diagonal branch, it doesn't seem to have a significant disease. And then as we move for, uh, further back uh, towards uh, the uh, left main, there is extensive plaque burden, there is no calcification. There is actually some ultrasound attenuation, suggesting that this could be a high lipid burden plaque. And then when we're going to the proximal LAD, the left main, the left main is fairly large without any significant disease. We decided, therefore, to treat this with a primary standing approach. We did use a 3.5 by 40 millimeter or zero stand, and the intent was to place it from the ostium of the LAD all the way uh, to the mid LAD past the origin of the diagonal branch. However, while we were deploying the stand, the patient moved, took a deep breath, and actually the stent came back, and this is how things look like. We can see that the stent now is moved back, essentially just proximal to the takeoff of the diagonal branch. There was good flow afterwards, so we didn't have to worry about that. And this is uh, another view showing that uh, we had now missed the lesion. There's some geographic miss because we didn't cover this portion of the LED. What to do now? One option in cases like this, when the stand is deployed in the wrong location and is actually protruding into the aorta, is to snare the stand. Mike Ragosta published a series of four cases in which uh, the stand was successfully snared, followed by deployment of another stand. We did consider this in our patient, however, we decided uh, to not do that because we didn't believe there was extensive uh, protrusion into the left main. Instead, we placed another DS to cover the uncovered part of the lesion in the proximal to mid LED that provided a nice result. We then did the post dilatation of the, of the left main using a 5.5 millimeter balloon. This uh, exceeds the supposedly upper limit of expansion of the austerior stents, but we felt we didn't have any choice there. And after doing that, we actually did have a nice result in geographically with T3 flow into the um, LAD as well as the circumflex and the left main. And this is the final intravascular ultrasound. The stand in the LAD is well expanded as expected because of the soft plaque. There's good apposition of the stand with the wall. And then as we come further back towards uh, the takeoff of the circumflex, the left main again is well uh, um, covered by stand. There is normal apposition and the stand actually is protruding all the way into the aorta. So in summary, this is a case in which uh, there was movement of the stent during deployment that led to geographic miss, missing the lesion, led to stenting the left main, which did not have any significant disease. What could have done is to actually take the stent out by snaring it, but this potentially could carry the risk of injuring the vessel. Another option, as we did in our case, is to post dilate the part of the stand that is in the left main and then use the osteal flush balloon in order to facilitate subsequent re-engagement of the coronary artery in case the patient needs repeat coronary angiography. But the most important part is to actually try to prevent such complications. When deploying a stand, it is important to minimize the patient breathing and Maybe sometimes even ask the patient to not move and use multiple projections to ensure that the stand is located in the desired location prior to inflating the stand balloon. Thank you very much.